Oh my god, my recording just cut itself, dude. Are you serious right now, bro? It all came back to the idea of self improvement and what I meant for that. I'm gonna have to cut this off, so annoying. So smelling this <laughs> I look so pale like a vampire. Can I sit it up? Oh, I don't wanna look at the light directly. I just. <clears throat> I'm using my phone as a flashlight. A flat as flashlight as a lighting, which is so scuffed, but which we have right. But why don't you turn the light? It'll be too loud. It'll be not too loud, too bright. It'll be a personalized tone, you know? <laughs> well, a question that I need to ask myself and everyone watching this video is what the hell am I doing with my life? I think it's a very important question and it's often overlooked by a lot of people when they just focus on the things they need to do day by day, which is stupid. I think this is one of the most um, important questions you could possibly ask yourself. What am I doing in my life? I remember Marcus Aurelius um, in a book summary of his meditations. It, one of the points was to ask yourself tough questions. And to me, that's an incredibly tough question because a lot of people cope and rationalize what they, what, they, what they are doing with what they think they should be doing with what they are doing. It's kind of weird. Like, uh, I'll, I'll explain it in a story, right? Not a story, but in an example. Right. Basically, let's say I'm. I really want to become a YouTuber. I really want to become a YouTuber. But instead of video editing, or recording content, or making clips, or posting, what instead I do is look at YouTubers that are already successful. I compare myself to them, and <laughs> and waste time. I've done that before, by the way. So I understand. So this is a complete and utter waste of time. It is a complete and utter waste of time because you are not fulfilling what you act you actually want, and you're coping and you're rationalizing, saying, "Oh, but I'm watching these YouTube famous YouTubers, famous YouTubers, so I must be doing something productive because I like I can I can learn from them." When you're just really being mindlessly entertained, that's the way it goes. And that's what I wanted to highlight in this video is that most people don't ask themselves tough questions and end up procrastinating. From their main purpose, from their main objectives, and this halts productivity and halts you actually getting to the position where you would have actually been a YouTuber. You could spend a year or two procrastinating like this. I spent almost a year procrastinating. It's, it's not good. It's not good at all. I've changed radically since then, from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, of beginning of 2022 to end of 2022. I've changed radically. However, the results to me, in, me in my eyes, are not good enough. I'm not satisfied with this. I want more. I want more. I want constantly want to be in the hunt. And people ask me like, "Oh, but Jimmy, is that when is it going to be enough? Why do you want more? Why do you always want more?" Well, the reality is, is that the game makes you the happiest. The hunt makes you the happiest. The reward is it is very very nice. Of course, if you're pursuing entrepreneurship, you know, you want money, right? But you should be instead of chasing money, you chase value. You should chase giving uh, exchanging value giving value damn this fucking smells good I, i'm actually afraid to burn this i don't want to burn any of this because the smell is going to get ruined so i'm worried about i love candles but i'm not supposed to slightly bother sorry The hunt is what should make you the happiest, not, how do I say this, not necessarily the reward itself. Like instead of chasing money, you chase the exchange of value instead of trying to get the new new check, new thing. Because once money comes, goes into your bank account, you get used to it real quick, all right? You might be happy for a day. Woo, yippee! I got 10K from my last deal. That's amazing, my money. You might celebrate for a week and then if it's 10 grand. After... Bro, 
You get used to it. <laughs> the 10 grand's in your account, you got it already. And it slowly hurts as you spend it, of course, that's the way it goes, right? Listen, bro. <laughs> you wouldn't get used to shit so quick. This is why the hunt is more valuable than anything else. Every day, I wake up broke. I might have made £10 that day. I might have made £100 that day. I might have made 500 500 750 The next day, I wake up broke. Because this is the mindset and mentality you need in order to make a shit ton of money, in order to thrive. An environment constantly hungry in the hunt. Everyone likes to harken back at it. Uh, when Conor McGregor was in the prime peak time of his career, when he was super hungry, when he was super young, and he really was desperate for money and he really needed money, and he really was struggling. He was struggling. He was on welfare in the beginning. Everyone likes to dub this version of Conor hungry Conor. This is before the Floyd Mayweather fights, before the before the big UFC fights with Khabib and all the other guys. And Max Holloway, what No, not Max Holloway. Dustin Poirier, and he smashed with Dustin Poirier in the beginning. It's crazy. And all and everything else before all of that, before all the money and fame, it was a very hungry. Is avaricious the right word? An avaricious individual. Imagine that's like. <laughs> imagine that's the wrong word. I just <laughs> complimented Conan in a homosexual way. That'd be crazy, bro. That's what I meant by that. You need to be hungry. You need to genuinely want success. And you need to ask yourself tough questions. What the hell am I doing in my life? If you're in school, go about your day. You just go to school, go home, play video games a bit. You maybe, you maybe work a job on the weekends. Or maybe you maybe you do a sport, you're proactive. I know a guy who does this, right? he plays he does boxing. Another guy who plays badminton, does this, casual, right? Still get still you gotta ask yourself, what the hell am I doing in my life? The time I spend in video games, I don't stream it. I don't make content out of it. I don't earn money off of it. It's just mindless entertainment, genuinely. I mean, video games is mindless entertainment. I don't know why anyone decides to argue with me and that shit. Oh, but video games really helps me with my hand-eye coordination with my mouse and da -da -da -da. when I do sports. Uh, it really help. You don't do sports. I shouldn't shout out 20. It's 1.52. You don't do sports. You're a lazy fat fuck. You're lazy. You don't do sports. That's just cope and seethe. Fuck, man. I've been there. I've been there. I've said that shit before. It's stupid. It's genuinely stupid. Face was tired. I'm going to sleep soon. Listen, guys. Everyone needs to ask himself tough questions. Especially seek cut off questions from other people and you, you end up hating them probably I, I genuinely hate the person that told me you, you're fast becoming a person Hard uh, you need really really need to get a job. You're fast becoming a person. That's gonna be hard to place into employment I genuinely dislike this person and dislike the sentiment. I dislike it even though it is it doesn't help me with the harsh brutal truth I dislike it to the maximum But you have to ask yourself tough questions. And I, I'm pretty sure that's unisex advice. Obviously it benefits men more because it seems like women are benefit much more from just living in delusion than anything else. I deserve a man, he's six foot and earns 500k plus. I should have retarded, bro. Am I getting high off a candle? That's not possible. Oh, I feel dazed. Maybe because of the lack of oxygen. Oh, this is fucking candle. Smells like coffee, vanilla. And just a sweet overall honey like fragrance. I was gonna get a sea mineral candle. I might, I don't know, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. Fuck it, I'm gonna buy it. Uh, from BM Home Store. It's like, trust them, it's like three pounds, which is nothing. But you boys broke, so it's a pretty big purchase to me. It's worth it, it's worth it to me. <laughs> it was it again. She's beautiful to me. <laughs> Listen guys, I'll take the benefit of asking yourself hard questions right now, or tough questions right now. I apologize for the video being all over the place. Bro, it's like fucking 2am, of course it's all over the place. I can't even think properly right now, I wanna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be I, I am, I am kinda retarded. I am, I am. It is what it is. But this is the benefit of being stupid, right? Because if you are stupid, you have, with the internet, you have a divine opportunity to grow. 
a defined opportunity to grow because we have unlimited free information with the internet. Think about it. Before, before the um, introduction of the internet, you never really saw a 20-year-old millionaire, 21-year-old millionaire, 25-year-old millionaire. Maybe they existed, but you never saw them. They were completely foreign topic. Farted, sorry. I'm farting long, obviously. Look at the peanuts. Peanuts? Peanuts. Listen, guys. The better of the top questions is that, is that you get to grind yourself into reality, but you still, even after the thing, answering the tough questions like, oh, yes, I am working a dead end job. Like, you ask yourself, what am I doing in life? Uh, yes, I am working a dead end job. Yeah, it's not, not, not a lot. This is a purely hypothetical uh, answer, of course. I am. That applies to a lot of people, surprisingly. Yes, you, you ask yourself, fuck man, I'm just repeating a story all over the place. God damn. What am I doing in my life? Not a lot. I am working a dead end job. I am doing nothing to contribute to my dreams. I am not being an entrepreneur, doing sales, learning sales, the learning uh, thing, selling a product. Trying, of trying to fulfill my dreams. I already said that. Oh my god. Reading books. Doing positive habits. Exercising. Yeah, I admit. I am not doing that. What am I doing in my life? Not enough. Demand more from yourself. Because you can't do more. The fuck? 24 hours a day. You can read for like an hour or two a day. Come on. What is it? The fully better thing again. People only have like 4 hours a day of free time. You cannot afford to spend time doing shit like, oh yeah, he lying, oh yeah, he this, oh yeah, that, that. I like, like that photo. Distracting yourself and consuming mindless entertainment in order to achieve absolutely nothing. For a minute, for a minute this is something interesting. We're going to watch the video now because I've got three minutes left on the clock. Can't be asked to fucking cut off this video, bro. I can't be asked. It's the uncut channel. What the fuck do you expect? I'm going to leave in that fart so you can smell it all the way, all the way across the screen. It's so stupid. I'm stupid, man. I'm stupid. Oh, <laughs> we'll watch the video now. But he says, "I got here. I got where I am because I'm focused," which is completely and utterly true. But recently, bro, to barely sell out tickets for his fight with that guy Aaron Chambers. Because everyone knew who Silver is, he's gonna rob, he's gonna drag out a fight. Honestly, you should just beat these guys up like in a first round knockout or something. That would be infinitely more entertaining for the masses. Like a pure technical match is just difficult to watch to a lot of people. Like people don't care. Mm -hmm. Eh? Oh, was it one thing? Look, Max Res, bro. That's crazy, bro. Let me download the video so you guys can see what is on. Alright, yeah, because I'm focused. Smelly, smelly for the other. You got 24 hours in a day. Eight hours you sleep, right? And most people work a nine to five. So eight hours you working. Okay, so we have 16 hours. We got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we had, well, we had nine, there's 19. You take your hour to get ready. So we had 20 hours. So I cannot spend you guys cannot spend four hours going to my aunt. They lying. Oh, I like this photo. Oh, they fake it. Sending photos to other people. Y'all got to get focused. I'm where I'm at because I'm focused. Tunnel vision. I'm focused on what I got to do. Y'all got to have a game plan. You, got you have to remember, like, people, especially men, but apply to women as well. People at some point need to get extremely, extremely focused on a single topic. Men have to knuckle down and focus on a single topic and then they can succeed. 
Like, if, as a man, if you're unable to f- snuffle down and focus on a singular topic, like entrepreneurship, boxing, sports, or whatever, reporting, it doesn't even matter. If you're not able to focus on one topic for or one thing, and knuckle down and focus on it for a very long time, for like 5-10 years, you will suffer. Society will punish you. The world will punish you. That's the way it goes. Like, if you... I don't know, people, people say this so stupidly, like... You can become anyone. Anyone watching this video, you can become successful in five years. Or, or entre- entrepreneurship experience. Let's say that sales, trying to sell a product, making your own product, and then trying to sell the product. Take a year to create your own product. Take another year to try to sell your own product. Market it with adjustments along the way. Increase your sales prospects, and spend the next three years just trying to sell. Like that one year creating, one year testing, testing, trying to sell, and thing modifying. One year creating, one year testing, and three years sales. Three years. Three years of selling. You can become successful. I don't know why. That isn't luck, that's probability. Alright? A lot of people, they just, they're like, oh yeah, I got through my 20s, my 20 years. Oh, I got through those 20 years. Yeah, I just got through them. I hate this stupid mentality, bro. I just got through my 20 years of life. Those 20 years, you will never get back. Okay? And you, at that point, you probably can't even afford cryogenics. Right? The person who's 25 who gets 100 grand or 200 grand or 250 or 500k is infinitely better than the person that, that's 50 years old and gets 1 billion. That's it. 500k at 25 is better than 1 billion at 50. Why? Because a billion at 50, you got a bunch of heart problems, you got a bunch of health issues, health problems. Bro, you got you got bad knees, your legs hurt, you're tired all the time, it's hard to get energy. It's it's genuinely difficult when you're old. Alright? Or 50 is teetering at the thing old. Because people can live to a hundred, right? Five decades of life. It's fu- bro. Listen. <laughs> Listen. One billion and fifty. It's obviously it's amazing money. Yeah, I still take it. But people say that. Oh yeah, but I still take it. Of course you'll take it. It's one billion. But you're fifty. You can't even fully enjoy it. Five hundred grand you can fully enjoy. One billion. You, okay, let's let's say you're you're fifty and you have one billion. You get the private jet. Yes, but it's hard to get the private jet because you have bad knees and it's hard to go up the stairs. And you're tired all the time. You can barely your your vision's blurry. Your vision's slowly losing you. You're slowly losing your vision because you're old. Hard to see through out the window. For me, like I'm Asian, right? We have the best Asian genetics on planet Earth. Like, there's obviously people, obviously black people have that as well. Black don't crack, obviously we always know this. But Asians, like, we take we take the next level. This is the next level, okay? Sit down, sit down. All the other races, <laughs> sit down. Other humans. <laughs> I don't mean it that way. And even then, fifty is still like a like a, a monumental age. You will not like get twenty years back from fifty. Time is f- finite. It is the most valuable finite resource known to man. Not antimatter. No, time. So I have 12 questions. What on earth are you doing with your life? What on earth are you doing? What are you doing, Jimmy? What are you doing, Jason? What are you doing, Andrew? What the fuck are you doing with your life? The answer doesn't satisfy you, you need to work a fucking harder at the right thing. I've got 20 minutes, if I can't post this, oh, I'm editing this. Suey.